The Ryder brothers, Sean and younger brother Paul, started making music together in 1980. They formed the Happy Mondays in 1984, and just a year later, Sean's friend Mark Bez Berry found himself on stage and in the band. In the second half of the 1980s, Sean, Bez and the boys Paul on bass, drummer Gaz Whelan, guitarist Mark Moose Day and Paul P.D. Davis on keyboards were the soul of the Madchester Hacienda clubbing scene. They were a one-off in many ways. For instance, where else in one band would you find a wayward policeman's son, Bez, and an ex-apprentice of Everton Football Club, Gaz? By 1990 and their third album, Pills and Thrills and Belly Aches, the Mondays had effortlessly kicked mainstream rock into the middle of next week. But a few years earlier, their indie band take on funk with Sean's gritty lyrics proved just a bit too ahead of its time. Even the hippest Manchester audiences at first didn't know what to make of their gigs supporting New Order and other Manc bands. In their set, the Mondays created a series of dance grooves rather than perform fixed format numbers. And then there was Bez's stage presence. The band had signed up with Tony Wilson's Factory Records and 1985's Freaky Dancing was their second single. The debut, 45, came out before Bez joined. It was also the shape of things to come on club dance floors. Bez has since described his stage moves with maracas as a fuck you war dance. Anyway, it soon caught on, so much so that by spring 1990's Strange Ways Prison Riots, Inmates got up on the roof and danced Bez's monkey dance to make their point for national television. Their 1987 debut album, Squirrel and G-Man 24 Hour Party People Plastic Face Can't Smile Whiteout, was produced by Velvet Underground's John Cale, who took over from New Order's Bernard Sumner, who was at the mixing desk for their first recordings. Martin Hannett produced album two, Bummed, which came out in 1988 and featured future Monday's classics such as Wrote for Luck and Mad Cyril. Erasure's Vince Clark produced a dance mix of Wrote for Luck called WFL, and this was a signpost to the future and massive chart success. The Monday's ascent from cult to mainstream came with 1989's Manchester Rave On EP. Produced by DJ production team Paul Oakenfold and Steve Osborne, this reached 19 in the singles charts. And the November 29th edition of Top of the Pops featured both the Happy Mondays and Stone Roses. The next two singles, Step On and Kinky Afro, were dance reworkings of hits by John Congos and Patti LaBelle. Both reached number five, and both were taken from the hugely successful album Pills and Thrills and Belly Aches produced in Los Angeles by Oakenfold and Osborne. Album four, Yes Please, was recorded in Barbados and produced by ex-talking heads Tina Weymouth and Chris Franz. Tony Wilson saw this as a make or break album for Factory Records. Yes Please got to number 14 in October 1992, but Factory went under the month after as things were also falling apart within the Happy Mondays. They split in early 1993. A couple of years later, Sean and Bez reunited in Black Grape alongside rapper Kermit from the Ruthless Rap Assassins. Their debut album, It's Great When You're Straight, Yeah, topped the charts in August 1995 and produced three top 20 singles. It was also nominated for that year's Mercury Music Prize. 1997's album Stupid 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 was less successful and the band split the year after. 1999 witnessed a musically successful though brief Happy Mondays reunion including original backing singer Rowetta in which their cover of Thin Lizzy's The Boys Are Back In Town charted at number 24. This DVD captures a Christmas 2004 Happy Mondays gig filmed at Barcelona's Rasmataz Club. On stage, Sean is still the subversive enigma whose lyrics have been compared to the poetry of T.S. Eliot. Bez is as loose-limbed and charismatic as ever. He spends the rest of his time DJing or with his new band Domino Bones or winning reality TV shows. <laughs>